Hey, what is up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor. This is my workshop and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing some items sent to us from banggood.com. Okay, so I was contacted by Jasmine over at banggood.com asking if I wanted to review a few of their items. And I had heard of banggood.com before, but I had never really paid much attention to it. And so I actually, I looked through their entire website and they have a lot of woodworking tools and they're a pretty good price. So this was shipped to me two weeks ago. That's not too bad. So it's packaged all together in this bag. It sounds like there's other boxes in there. I can hear something in there, but we'll find out. Maybe that's just some parts that are okay to clang together. Okay, all right. Nice. It's got foam in there. It is in there nice and good. The, the clanging together that we're hearing is between the bottom of this piece and the, uh, the actual T part of the gauge. So all we have to do is assemble it with the screws provided and we got a pen that doesn't have a shell but looks like it's pointy enough to use on any one of these markings. That is the first item that we have. We will assemble that and put that to use. Now the other two items. The chamfer plane. This is a carbide insert cutting tool. It chamfers the corner of a board. I, I wanted this because I often am chamfering the corner of a bunch of boards so I wondered if I could do it by hand a little bit faster than getting the router up. Comes in this uh, this little case. Here is our chamfer plane. It's got some good weight to it. That is that is nice. Very nice. Very nice. It feels good in the hand. Comes with a little uh, adjustment knob, allen key. That's really cool, I like that. Okay, and the third and final item, the hold down toggle. Wow, very light, a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Also in some good packaging. Okay, so it has been some time since I filmed the beginning of this video where I actually unbox these things. So I'm gonna start off here with uh, this, this T-square here, the T600. So it comes with this little tiny pen it looks like the guts of a, of a ballpoint pen, but it's it's really fine point. We're gonna set that aside. It seems to work okay on wood. The only thing that I haven't actually tried out uh, a little bit is this T-square. So we're gonna assemble it here. We've got all of the, the screws. There's a really good detent here where it, it goes on. And I'm sure that once we line up four holes, this thing's gonna be bang on. Okay, that, that's on there nice and snug now. This thing, it feels really nice in the hand and I know that uh, I'm gonna get some really good use out of it. Let's use it uh, here on this workbench to line up where we're gonna put some dog holes so that we can test this clamp. Okay, so let's see. I want this, these dog holes to be probably center of this, this guy right here. So we're going to use this, uh, this square here, so this is seven and a half, half of that would be three and three quarter, three quarter. Oh wow, that's really easy to figure that out. So it moves in eighths here and sixteenths here, so if I want eleven sixteenths, I'd go next hole. Alright, that's pretty, pretty good, I like that. So we just drop this in here. So this is the, the part of uh, this tool that I was really excited about. It wasn't just a T-square, it had all of these tracing slots in it. Because a lot of the time, you want the line marked parallel to an edge. Alright. There's a really faint line, and I bet you, that if I measure it, anywhere on this line, let's see. Three and three quarter bang on. We're gonna try this again on this piece of plywood that does have a straight edge. And I'm gonna go three and three quarters as well. Drawing us this line. The pen marking is like a 64th off on this side and on this side from the actual marking on the edge of the square. Which got me wondering whether or not this thing was, was actually a square. It's fairly square, but it's not. It needs, uh, it needs some tuning. It did not. It didn't just screw together right. There are four screws and they're all countersunk, so there, there is room for adjustment. Uh, it, it's just something that needs to be set up. Okay, can I use a regular size pen in this ruler? 
No, you cannot. That's unfortunate. So you do have to kind of keep this this uh, pen without a body um, safe somewhere. So I'll, I'll do another one at six, and I'm going to draw another line at uh, seventeen here. A thirty second less than three and three quarter. Half a thirty second less than six, and about bang on seventeen. So. For all intents and purposes, this is great. I'm happy with it. I'll definitely get some use out of it. Now that we've got that figured out with this ruler, we're going to get a drill bit. There we go. Oh, ow. That's, that, that clamps, that clamps. That definitely clamps. Don't clamp your fingers, guys. Okay, so she's focused now, slide it in the hole to here, and then pull this lever to what there. That is on there enough to, to roll my workbench around. It's enough I could still wiggle it around, but with two of these it would hold something down real good. Now, let's see if uh, it'll hold something down good enough to use something like this. So the HD Edge from Banggood, it is a tool. So I'm going to loosen this off. Right, we're going to do a round over. So I'm going to lower this down until I can just see it, just see it popping up, and then I'll tighten this down, keeping in mind what measurement is on the uh, the little indicator there. Okay. Now I'm going to loosen it off a little bit more, just a hair. So this clamp's doing a pretty good job here. It might do an even better job if you had two of these. This this carbide uh, hand plane is doing a beautiful job. And this is on white oak, not a very friendly wood to be doing this on. Let's see if we, if we do it the other, other direction on the grain. So you like the first direction better. Let's, let's try this, uh, this piece of poplar. Loosen this off. That that is very nice. Down there. And wow. That is that is smooth. So it works it works great on hardwood and softwood. This, I'm really happy with this. I know that I'm gonna use this. I would buy this. I would definitely buy this. If I just have to chamfer one edge, I'm going to grab this and use this before I'm going to grab my router and use my router. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to order another one of these and definitely use bench dogs because this, this I tell you, this is great. It's lightweight. It's not heavy. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on there. My workbench only has, only has two wheels down right now. This is one of them. If I had two of these, this board is not coming off of here. So I'm going to be ordering another one of these and this thing I would definitely order. I personally don't have a huge use for this with the projects that I got going on right now. But man, I tell you, if I had had this for a few of the projects I've done, it would have been awesome. And I know that it's going to come in handy. And uh, just just know when you're, when you're setting this up that it does uh, require some attention to... Uh, it's accuracy. That's the same with probably any measuring tool or fence system or anything. You have to actually set it up so that it works right. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I go through these tools that were sent to me. That was awesome at banggood.com sending these to me and I really appreciate it and I'm definitely going to use these. Love this thing. Would definitely have bought it. Carbide's just, it's going to be the next thing. It's going to be everywhere, I think. This, that was awesome. I'm going to definitely drill some bench dog holes in this workbench and probably my next one. And this T-square. I love that there's tiny holes in it. I love that they're in increments of 16 inches. So if you guys want any of these tools yourself, go ahead and check out the links in the description. They are affiliate links, so if you purchase something, I will get some small kickback from it. These are great tools, and... If you're interested in them, I would definitely recommend them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. 
And also, starting this video, all of the Patreon supporters will get the videos two days early, and that is for $2 a month. The Patreon link is right up here, and also in the description all the time. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.